We got the whole collection of Hello Kitty and Friends dolls. Today we're opening up the fifth one in the series. She came released later. Cinema Roll and Cl Claudine coming up after this. So here we go. Hello Kitty and Friends. Cinema Roll. Cinema Roll. And Claudine. Claudine. She is a real cutie. We know Cinema Roll is. And here are all of the other four that came in boxes just like this. You can see they are cross-celled on the back. Yeah, look at all that cute adorableness. I love this packaging. It's made so you can't really take out the cardboard. All of the stuff gets ripped off it and it's really sad. I hope my glasses are here. There is one more set that you can get. They also make minis, but you can get Hello Kitty herself or Hello Kitty's doll friend. She comes with a kitchen and a different outfit. And I guess I don't really need another one. Do I really? Okay, since I can't save this packaging, I'm just gonna open her up. This I think is the best one too. The packaging is so nice. I wish they would have made it so you could keep it. I'm really contemplating getting a whole other set of these. I am watching them on Amazon. That's where I got this, by the way. And I think that's the only place to get them. At least in Canada, that's the only place to get them. I have found the little mini collector things at Toys R Us, maybe Walmart. So some of the Mattel Hello Kitty stuff is showing up. But like I started to say, I believe this is the best one in the series. I love my setup today. They are standing in Castle Grayskull's ring, Masters of the WWE Universe. I think I might have to use this for displaying all the time because it's working out really well. Okay. Now, she is the best because her outfit is so nice and so versatile. So they can wear Creatable World shoes. So if you have lots of Creatable World shoes to do around, these dolls can wear them, which is great. However, they do have the cutest, jelliest, chewiest shoes on. And this is one of the examples why she's the best, because her shoes are rollerblades. And that is adorable. They're non-functioning wheels. I don't usually have a problem with that, especially in a translucent, glittery plastic. Look, you can see her feet inside. It has a C on the side, I guess, for her name, which I already... Claudine. I didn't forget it. It's Claudine. And Cinema Roll. Okay, so she's got little bunny ears, which is so cute. And then she has this, like, Polaroid camera belt, which is so adorable. They all have the cutest little belts. Now, I will be removing the hair accessories because I do like to dress these up. So yeah, I think the clothes, they tend to be able to wear monster high clothes better, I think, because their bodies are a little smaller, but they can wear some of the Creatable World clothing too. But the shoes are the exact right size for their feet. So I'm taking out the fasteners because I like to have the versatility of removing the different accessories. So I usually do that with all of my dolls. These are such cute little ears. Oh, it's also elastic banded it in. And they probably will fit on Cave Club too if I want to give Slate little bunny ears for Christmas or something. That would look adorable. Their hair is not the softest, but it's also not the wiriest. I guess it's kind of, I don't know, I'm having a good time with it. It's kind of soft right now. I guess it's pretty wiry, but and it is in such light pastel cute colors. It's kind of thinly rooted, as you can see, but it's not really about that with these. It's just about them being the cutest, perfectly painted, little cartoons come to life is kind of how I see it. Let me show you the face paint. 
people don't have a problem. Like, people probably would love the joints. The adult, the loud adult collectors who complain all the time about articulation and stuff from Mattel. But I haven't heard as much complaints about these. I think that people just are so happy with how cute they are and how they look. And the screening on their faces is so well done. And the clothes are even really interesting. So there are some negatives I do hear over these dolls, but for the most part, people are just really excited for them. And I love to see that. I love to see Mattel, who I am a stand for Mattel. I just, I, we're on the same wavelength. I love everything they put out. Okay, here is another reason why. Oh, okay, this isn't separate, but it is a solid um, overall top part. I think, did they usually come off? No, they were usually attached. And I love the little PVC part that's on here that has the little pictures of all of the cute little things that Cinema Roll loves. Like, I don't know, it's just, it reminds me of things like this that were around in the 80s, the clear vinyl. That's. It looks, it look how cool that is. It's just really, really cool. We've got hems on everything except for the bottom of this blue part of the apron. Such cute pastel colors. That's another thing that makes it great. What a great versatile top this is. Now it's finished on the sleeves and on the neck, but again, not finished on the bottom. And it's kind of a crop top, I didn't realize that. And did you see Cinema Roll on the skates? They do that with all of the different kitties. So cute. Okay, and then the top on the back looks like this at Velcros. And I don't know, am I gonna redress them? I can't remember what I did with the other reviews of these, but I guess I will undress her completely so you can see what the body looks like. And I will grab a cave club. This is a naked slate doll. Very similar proportions. Here is a cave club girl with a monster high wig. And you can see uh, that the waist proportions are pretty much the same, or the bum proportions, but uh, the cave club are much thinner on top. And uh, these are basically the same proportions as Monster High. I did manage to squeeze this Monster High dress on, so it can fit. If you're interested in seeing my Monster High versus Cave Club, definitely want to check out that last video. That was lots of fun. In anticipation of the new Monster High that's coming out from Mattel Creations. But yeah, that's the little cutie. Okay, stay tuned to the end. I'll give you an overview of the whole collection of these dolls. But first, oh, I didn't even show you Cinema Roll himself. Maybe the cutest Hello Kitty character. Oh, look at that cute little bum. Cute little bunny with floppy ears. Whoa, they're solid vinyl figures. And they're so adorable. Can balance on the ring. So cute, so cute. Okay, I love you. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned to the end. We're gonna review all five characters. First, I have to put her outfit on. And this see your hands, the little hands, the little feet. Legs go back that far, go forward that far. Arms spin all around and they go outward. And the head is on a ball joint, so it it rotates all around and pivots and stuff. So better than just the back and forth like the cave clubs have. See the little texture of polka dots on the bunny ears? So cute. This is what the inside of the belt looks like. And all of the details is a little cloud on it. This is the only one that's rubber. All of the rest of those are harder plastics. And this is like a chewier rubber. The detail is so crazy because 
you can even see cinema roll on the bottom of the roller skates too. I think I caught it in there. There's just textures and little hidden designs everywhere. These are so cute. Okay, oh. So cute, 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 cute. I can't remember their names, so there's Bats Maru's adult. So she's a rocker. Look at those shoes. Uh, that skirt. See a harder plastic there. And they all have a head accessory. She's got a crown with headphones. And I love her little black t-shirt. Very versatile under there. Whoa, I knew that was gonna happen. And then we've got Hello Kitty friend with these sick pastel shoes. Again, translucent and you can see their <laughs> feet through them. So cute. Great colors. Which other Hello Kitty characters would you like to see them do a doll for? I'd like them to do a twin set with the, are they star twins? Whatever their names are, I would like to see twins. That would be great in a two pack. Love this little top. It's really cute with the turtleneck. Kind of retro-y. It's her little glittery shoes. With the froggy on it. Great makeup. Oh, let's see this. Yeah, this is a harder plastic, not rubbery like the camera one. Little hat. So cute in that case. Oh yeah, and then we have another hat. With my Melody V. Friend. Kropi. That's what Froggy's name is. Oh, there he is. Cute. Love the pop of the little pastel blue with the pink. So cute. Look at the little flowers on the skirt. It is adorable. These are so, so cute. She's got a little beret with ears. And I like that they have different skin tones too. Isn't that great? I wonder if any of them would match a creatable world body so I could uh, really fit the clothes on one of them perfectly. Anyway, they're great. I love them. I hope you love them. Let me know which one is your favorite. Oh, but I'm going to show you Hello Kitty. Okay. That's... Ribbit. And this little thing. And also be sure to check out the cartoon on YouTube. It's really cute. I love you.